so with my pair of scissors thread black rubber bands and natural twist or I call it kinky so I'm going to unravel it remove the excess and colorful ribbons or rubber bands that the hair came with so I'm going to join the two bundles in one part together to form one big bundle I'm going to use my black rubber bands to put in the middle to make a kind of loop that I will use to attach just to attach the hair to my head so I have created this particular one that I've made one that I've made is the one that will go to my head so I'm going to stick another bundle into it to make it longer so I'm going to pop it open in the middle and stick this one in the middle of it So I will still do the same thing with the last bundle until I get the length I want. After that, I'm going to use my. So after that, now once I've done, I am done with sticking the hairs together, attaching the hairs together. I'm going to bring out or maybe set aside a portion of hair. That portion of hair that I will set aside will be the one I'll use it later. Maybe you guys will see what I will use. With it, with, I will do with it. So once I'm done attaching the hair together, I will start creating my puffs by forming a puff. Then use my thread to secure it by tying it around and securing it. You know you can use your rubber bands to do this part that I'm doing now but working with this hair is so difficult because it tangles so I find it difficult using a rubber band so I decided to use my made um, sorry similar and thread so I decided to use just my thread that would be very easy for me to do So once you get to the last tip of the hair that connects to the next hair, you make sure that you detangle the hair very well and smooth it out so that it will blend into the next hair in order to make it seamless that nobody will know where the hair starts from or where the joints start from. I will continue to do that creating my puffs so you can decide to create the puffs bigger if you want you can make them smaller but I want them to be medium like this so I'll continue to create my puffs to the last when hair so once I get to the last hair I will continue to braid it as I'm braiding it also, it will need to make it to look like the bubble um, sorry the bubble puffs continues to till the last. So as I'm braiding it down towards the end, I'll make sure that I space out the braids as my, my hand space it out once I get to the um, very end, then I'll secure it and cut off the excess.
so this is how I'm going to make the ends of the puff look like so once I'm done creating the last puff I will secure it at the end there then I will use my scissors to pack up cut off the remaining or the excess So once I finish um, creating my puff, my bubble puffs, I'll go on ahead and fix it on my head. Though I did my, I put my hair in a ponytail off camera. Just for the sake of this video, I don't want this video to be very long. So I have to do that one off camera. Then I'll come back and show you guys how I fix it on my head. So you remember the hair that I set aside that I told you that I will use later on. So that's the hair. Once I use the rubber band that I used to create the loop, then I'll use that hair that I set aside to go around my ponytail. To go around my ponytail, I use it to wrap around my ponytail. Once I wrap it around my ponytail, I'll use my bobby pin to secure it there then fix the bubble ponytail there with my bobby pins So guys that's it so I just want to spice the hair a little bit by putting a couple of hair accessories I'm going to put them in the middle you can put them anywhere you want that's it simple yeah that's it so i'm here i'm just playing around with the hair to see what other style that i can do with it that's all so i'm just showing you how the back of my hair looks like how i braided it so if you don't know how to braid your hair no problem you don't have to do it you can just pack your hair up to a, um, a bone then attach your ponytail bubble, bubble sorry then you attach your ponytail that's it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video so go ahead and like this video share and comment bye see you in my next video